Hello everyone, my name is JRBR and welcome back to Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Um, let's see, I don't exactly remember what we're doing, but hmm, why am I wearing this maid outfit? Because I have to get back to work once we're done here. I came here because May really needed enough people to help out, but I can't say I'm otherwise super eager about the whole thing. That's right, a lot. I mean there was an actual girl who died doing this, you know. Apparently she was doing everything you do for... Shibuya Hirasaka got hit by a truck right when she started crossing the street. I just want to hurry up and get this over with so I can leave. That's right. We're doing... We're trying to summon a demon. It involves singing and walking into the center of town. Which sounds ludicrous now that I say it out loud like that. But And I'm supposed to gather people around here. Five specific hills you have to use for Shibuya Harashara Dogenzaka, Bunka Muradori, Koendori, Miyamasu Zaka, and Meja Dori. If you look at them on the map, they even form a pentagram. Wait, what do you mean you don't see that? How can I not see a pentagram? Um, ooh, shiny. Agumon Expert Metal. What is that? I'm guessing it's like this. That's not the right spot. I'm guessing it's like any other um, metal. But, yeah, I don't know. And message. Listen up. Who is a silver body, white wings, and the move Disaster Blaster? Again, never heard of any of them guys. But, um, let's see, it seems like, is this everyone? Oh, wait. Shibuya is filled to the brim with hills no matter where you look. There's Konosaka, Masaka, Organzaka. Really, you could say that Shibuya is like the valley for all of Tokyo, and I don't just mean geographically either. There's just so much information and energy that flows into it from all sides. May thinks that's why Shibuya is so popular to begin with. Shibuya, the scramble intersection, a truck, and an accident. But woe to thee who finds the entrance there. For if you make it. Nope. Message on my digiline. Alright, got everything all set up. Get all the club members together and take them out over to Shibuya. I'll be giving commands from here. Meanwhile, I want you to join in and help perform Shibuya Harasaka as one of the five people. Can everyone hear me? I'm now going to commence verifying the legend of Shibuya Harasaka. Packed into the cameras at the scramble intersection, I'm watching you all from here and giving you commands as necessary. Keep your eyes and ears peeled and be ready for anything. Let's get started. To hear of it a curse, to see it even worse. The depths of Shibuya, it's where we all must cross. I'm glad I don't actually have to do this. You're doing great. Keep up that pace. Lily, I need you to speed up a little more. Feel alone, down you must go. When you feel low, down you must go. Good, you're all about to reach the scramble crossing. Traffic lights should cooperate too. Being said, just in case I went in and rigged it to work in our favor too, so just go ahead and cross. Bottom line is a secret, hidden world, but woe to thee who finds the entrance there. For if you make it, you only meet despair, you only meet despair. I don't understand why people would want to summon a demon like that. We all made it here at the same time. Without a doubt. The one girl in the maid costume had cat ears, didn't she? Yeah. What the... There's nobody here. Where'd everyone go? Great. There aren't any cars around either. Looks like we lost contact too. Wait, what's what's that? Where is she? Where's my I can't leave everyone behind. Wanna bet? Oh. Can't cross the street like that, it's dangerous. 
Hello? Let's see. So she can't reach. Oh, there's the girl. God. Yeah, you're all right. I can't imagine going into a city and it just being completely dead silent. That would be terrifying. Why doesn't anyone pay attention to me? Maybe they actually do notice me. All right. Oh, she's gone. So where? Oh, over here. And again, can't cross the street like that. It's dangerous. I can't live here anymore. I can't live and be here anymore. Okay. Bye. All right. So now over here. So wow. Oh yeah, she's in the mode group. Whoa, who are you? How long have you been here? I'll die and remain here. Here at the bottom of Shibuya in the other world. She she vanished. Ah! Like. She's just trolling everyone, teleporting behind him. What's going on? What's going on here? Where did you come from? <laughs> what am I seeing? Hey, what's going on? Come in. Yeah, you're right. That was that was a close one. If you didn't hear your voice just now, that truck would have. You're right. What happened? Fill me in. What was all that? Now everything's going back to normal. What's happening here? So we summoned, well, we transported ourselves, and then we almost got hit. Restore calm, but he also took the truck driver in for question. Apparently the driver didn't see any of you until right before you were all nearly hit. Sure gets strange. Apparently the intersection saw you the whole time. Nobody responded to their warnings. It's like you guys couldn't see or hear anything that was going on around you. Yep, sounds about right. We didn't know there were still other people around until your assistant spoke up. Did this girl happen to be that high school student you saw there? Yes, that's her. Yeah, definitely. See, well that settles it. She was a high school girl who was killed three months ago in an accident at the scramble intersection. She was even hit by a truck. Well, didn't they know that's what they were doing? What did they think they signed up for? Don't you remember? That's how the legend goes. So what you saw back there was the dead brought back to life then. The little research Shibuya today is a valley that was cut from Shibuya River. Now runs under the system. Rivers are common. Border in the myths and religious between this world and the next. There's the Sanzu River in Japan. The river sticks in Greece. Wait, the River Styx is a real place? Let's say you guys got caught up in one such place today. A lot of names you can call it. The result means. Anyway, case closed. So she's real. Really? You're just. Leave that girl alone. Is that what you want to ask? Hmm. Maybe confused. Don't forget, we're not ghost hunters and we're not exorcists. We are cyber sleuths. No more, no less. Appreciate it if you remember that. I mean, this wasn't even part of our job description. Whew, well that case is over and done with for now, though I know you didn't get a chance to really use your powers. I figured if you had used them in front of those kids, that would have just spawned another urban legend. <laughs> if I kill everyone, that'll make me lucky. And if everyone dies, that'll make me happy. I feel like this game's significantly deviated from Digimon. Ooh, I'm right. I would not have guessed that. Now what's this board look like? So you pulled through with that case. Keep the good work going forward. All right, well, that's all the cases here. Um, 
Where's the view of the... Wait, what? Go see it and tell me what you think. Okay. I guess I can go to the entrance. You'd think this kid who's been there plenty of times could just describe it without needing to go there, but... Game's got a game, and of course there's someone up here who wants something. Ooh, what is this? It's an anonymous post on my DigiLine. Stop looking at me. Yeah, we got another case from the occult club. This one looks personal, though. I think those guys might have taken a liking to us. Given that we deal in the strange and unusual, but yet more strange and unusual things into our lives. Sorry with the Selms, really. Haha. <laughs> Wait. But Mom, I swear there's something there I just felt. So you look behind you and check for yourself. See, there's nothing there. Oh, so I should have talked to them first. Alright. Well, let's hop out of here and. And I guess go back to the occult club. I hope they're in the office whenever I jump out. Nope. I was hoping they'd be in here. Is it on here? Nightmare Eater. Keeps transmitting without me doing anything. Please find the cause. Oh, I get a memory up. Hey, nice to see you again, Manaka. What brings you here by yourself? I think I might be caught up in a cybercrime. Did you go to the police? I can't really. There are some supernatural elements involved, I think. I understand you made the right choice. Okay, take a look at this. It's my log. All right, let's see what you've got. Sigh. Should I go to my club tomorrow? They claim they do research, but all they really do is hang out and talk. It's only a club because everyone has similar interests. I should probably enroll in something a little more serious and go to that, too. I could really use a hot, manly boyfriend, too. Oh my gosh, did I just write that? Huh, what's so special about this? Keep going. Could Kenji have a crush on May? Lol, lol, no way. She has a one-track mind. She can't think of anything else but occult stuff. Does that guy even have his eyes on street? He's such an ass. He has a real hottie right in front of him. He can't take his eyes off May for even a second's notice. Maybe I should seduce him. Hehehe. <laughs> I mean, I've got the goods. I've give him a peek anytime. Is she texting this to someone? Hmm. How do I put this? Your posts aren't pulling any punches there. Putting my personal opinion aside, I otherwise don't see anything wrong with them. They look normal to me. Uh, the thing is, I didn't write that stuff. What? They just randomly showed up, but they freaked me out so badly that I deleted them. I hear you. And doesn't that mean your account was probably just hacked? Some 2-bit hacker did it to screw with you. Maybe your computer was infected with... No, it isn't anything like that. Hmm. I take it this is where the supernatural part you mentioned about these posts. Yeah, I wasn't the one who wrote those posts and put them online, but they are how I feel. What you see there? That's stuff that I think about but don't express out loud. Can't okay, get it. Stuff that's hard to share. Right. Hmm. Seeing as you're in a cult club, I'm sure you know about Ouija boards and whatnot, right? Your hands move against your will, sending you a message from the spirit world. Something that could very possibly be happening to you. Look at the post on your wall. Those messages went out in the dead of night. I should have long been sound asleep by that point. Okay, then what? Late 1800s, there was an academic by the name of Enrio Enoi. It's not a name I've ever heard of. Okay, still recording. Sort of things can come from having multiple cells. You mean the man who came up with mystery studies? Right. I've shown off his work at the club. Bith. Hold on, are you saying I have a split personality? Politically correct term for that would be dissociative identity disorder, actually. I guess I guess that makes sense. I'm reading this post at night without realizing. I would explain it, but maybe it really is that. I've honestly been worried that it might be dead deep down. These are your true feelings. So your other identity has the 
same feeling? No, that's not it. Huh? This isn't because of some mental illness. Here, take a look at this. Just try and find me. This was just now posted onto your account. It's a reply to what I wrote on your Digiline. To the culprit, I'm a detective who's taken up Manaka's case. I know that we will track you down and uncover your identity. No matter who or what you are, you can't hide forever. You've been warned. Well, the conversation unfolded online as you and I were talking while you weren't touching any terminals. It means you're not the one behind these posts, let alone any mental disorder. The real culprit is out there. Whoever's behind it is just a dumb troll, albeit an arrogant one. To quote Enrio Inouye's work again, what we've got is our is a case of a fake wonder. Someone trying to make this look more mystical than it really is. In other words, this is plain old hacking. You said that the contents of these posts are based on your actual feelings. Well, I don't know about the facts so much as just how I think and feel, really. You walked into Eden. Yes, I do that every night. Gotcha. The way I see it, I bet the culprit's been snooping around and hacked into your memory data in Eden. You can do that sort of thing? Why could you do that sort of thing? At least not when you're lone wolfing it like your hacker here. Still, avatars are essentially digitized versions of people's mental data, so to speak. So memory data hacks theoretically doable? Things take a bit of a different turn once the so-called supernatural enters the equation. Don't sweat. For now, just log into Eden tonight like you normally would. I'll have my assistant waiting for you in the lobby. Great. What are you actually planning on doing? Just gonna say we're gonna be fox hunting. Our decor will be our little maiden's deep dark secrets. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Oh, we're straight into it. Looks like Monaka's still not here. I was hoping this isn't a sign of what's to come. Hmm. I have Monaka lie down, lay down our decoy. If the culprit's the same person I suspect they are. We'll definitely go for it. It's a pretty safe guess to say that they're going to log into Eden tonight. Once they're in position, it's just a matter of apprehending them. That shouldn't be a problem. That's because Pete's going to be working with us. Who's Pete? Oh, Pete's a Digimon. Thanks again for what you did back there with the AC stuff. Okay. I had Pete here take a look at those posts Hacker wrote so he could learn their scent. It turns out this message had traced a Digimon on him. You can't fool me. Let you know when the bad guy is close by. You can count on me and my nose. Of course, that's why I brought you on board. So cool working with real life detective. I'm a real boy wonder. You don't know who the boy wonder is? Really? I'm s here. Sorry to keep you waiting. I did just like you asked and posted a message on Digiline, but am I really going to be okay doing that? Well, now you've given it away. You're curious what she wrote, aren't you? It's fine, I'll tell you. She confessed her love to the hacker and also mentioned that she really wanted to meet him. Real blatant ploy on our part, but again, this guy thinks his hacking skills are hot stuff. He's going to want to verify Manaka's claims, preferably by checking her memories directly. Hacking memory data takes some work, though, even to just take a look inside. Require actual directly reaching out and making contact with her. It's the only way you could have done this. You had to have been touching her somehow in order to do the hacks. What's more, messing around with someone's mental data would have taken would take going into the core of Eden itself. Security there is supposed to be tight as can be. We take real effort to break in. The hacker behind Manaka's messages would have therefore had to be touching her at least several minutes before leaving his handiwork. I smell him. He's close by. Good. Time to go hunting. Let's get there and get this person out of his foxhole. All right. I'm assuming whoever we need is going to be like up here. I don't smell anything anymore. It's bad. I don't pick it up soon. We'll lose him. I didn't realize that actually it's just going to pop up. Ooh. Same stuff as before. There, right in front of you. Hurry up and do a scan. So we've got you now, Buster. You're not going anywhere. Ugh. For real? How'd you find me? I knew it. The culprit's a little kid. Don't call me a little kid. That's rude. Hey, wait a minute. 
You're the one who spotted me here before, aren't you? Crap, how'd you notice me? You're not supposed to be able to see me at all. Oh, so that's what happens. Huh? <laughs> so a little my little assistant is so sensitive in digital ways and special numbers. The corporate didn't stand a chance of hiding forever. It's a cyber sleuth. It comes with a job. Other than that, we got questions for you. Does that make you a detective too? Wow, you're so hot. Yeah, whatever. Just answer my questions already. Who are you and how did you achieve such a complicated... I want you to call a genius architect. I'm not some lowly hacker or programmer. You know about the Baku Reborn Service? Sur special service here on Eden. Cases like where a user either permanently leaves Eden or they die. Reborn Service gathers all the user's data and deletes it. I'm the one who runs it. You don't have to ask so surprised. Kids are just more attuned to the digital world than adults. I studied on my own and joined groups that I could trade info with, and soon enough I started working in corporate R&D. Oh, but the reason I'm considered a genius isn't because I run the service. I'm also the one who designed it. Actually, what I said about Baku gathering and deleting data isn't entirely accurate. It actually does more. Not only does it gather and accumulate data pertaining to a given account, it also organizes it. Almost like it has a mind of its own. To be honest, even I'm surprised by that. I never expected it to act so precisely and deliberately. It's a real case of the creation surpassing the creator. That's how it should be with these sort of things, no? I follow you, Baku Reborn Service. Tell me, does the name Baku refer to the mythological creature that consumes nightmares? Yeah, you got it. I named it that because data we don't want to show online is very much its own sort of nightmare. By using that Baku on yourself, you could... Alright, I'm on to what you did now. You handed your avatar's surface level appearance over to your Baku. Let it consume it. That way nobody around you would be able to know what you were, that you were lurking. You didn't let it purge that data outright. Control yourself, making it hand it back. Like a dog returning prey to a hunter. Alright, you figured it out. Yep, you got me. It's amazing though. I love it when I actually meet a smart adult. Guessing you basically used that same trick to draw up Monaka's mental data. Yeah, I copied it, but I only did that with her short term memory. Stuff you'd find around a person's hippocampus. <laughs> Even something as advanced as Baku can't break into a person's memory within active mental data. That would definitely be crossing the line. I, I understand why that's bad. What he did is not that bad. Hand over what I copied to your partner, given the apparent interest. It really is like a Baku, isn't it? I think I more or less have a grasp of the situation now. I am that I am not. I think that might be the best way to describe what your partner is to this world, if you catch my drift. Hey, you know, I was thinking the same thing. Genius or not, even I can't purposely go out and architect life myself. I think it was probably born as such by pure chance. No idea how it'll end up growing, moving forward. Certainly at the very least, I have a feeling I'll lose control of it eventually. We are smart. I don't just mean you know a lot either. Sharpness to your words that I admire. Can I trust you to let me deal with the Baku? Do you plan on disposing of it? We'll see. Depends how things go. Okay, I trust your judgment. You find it uploaded onto a site. The password's locked for it is lifted. The rest I'll leave up to you. This little kid's the culprit? I'd have never guessed he would be someone so young. What? I, uh, well, you see... Why did you do it with her account? Who cares at this stage? I won't do it again, and I promise to even apologize for it later. Why not now? I'll even give her some consolation money, so just leave me alone. You know, I just remembered that we've met here in Eden before, haven't we? Talked for a little bit while I was waiting to meet up with a friend, right? So how'd you do all that mean stuff? You're so smart you shouldn't be out committing crimes. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. That's what I was hoping to hear. See, you're a good kid at heart. What are you staring at? I did it all right. I apologize. Let's call it good at that, shall we? So work to do. I'm sending you the URL now. We're going to resume our hunt now. Our only goal is here is to capture rather than kill our attack. We're not going to want you to go back. It's too dangerous for you to stick around. Sissa will take care of everything for you. All right, I'm counting on you. We don't know how our prey is going to react once we get there. So we have to be prepared for anything before we go.
And another message on the DigiLine. What is it? Togemon special move is Needle Spray. I like how he had to explain to me like how the fill in the blank worked. It's Needle Blank. What goes in the blank? I'm afraid my controller's gonna die. As why is this place different? I'm afraid my controller is going to die sometime while I'm working on this. Alright, can I hack three? How? Because you need certain Digimon with you. Um, field guide maybe? Oh wait, no, that's that. I'm not sure which ones you need with you, but we can definitely do this one. Let me look it up quick. <clears throat> Alright, so to do the wall crack three, you need four Digimon as champions. Ooh. Ooh. Virus Digimon. I didn't even look at types and stuff, but seems like I can just kill them outright. So I'm going to go rearrange my Digimon. I wonder if... Is defense boost... Is, is that a permanent item? Or is there no such thing? Yeah, they're just the one-time use in battle. Alright. Let's go to the Digi Lab and I guess move some Digimon around. Um, which one was it? Pegumon? Yes. I'd rather have Impmon, but I gotta go with the Harder one. Alright. Alright, because. Yeah, so they're not. He's close enough to level up, but. We'll just put him over there. And then. Oh, wait, no. We need to digivolve Electmon into. I don't like any of these people. <laughs> Who looks like they have high things? Huh. All right. I guess we're going Newmon. Or oh wait, that's not. Okay. Let's see, and all these are mostly close. Um, what if I want to bring in Seedramon? 
Oh yeah, and we can also digi-convert some guys. Even though I'm going to need like another farm to actually get to use these people. Uh, let's see. Move, yeah, move Digimon. Yes. All right. They take three memories. So I have three and four there. I can bring Gazimon, put a him there. Right, so the farm's full. Yeah. I think that works out good. Oh, this is my message telling me that I was right. Oh, wait. I don't have a champion now, do I? Digiline's not the right thing. Yeah, Sijaron's a champion. Okay, yep, now it's in color. So let's get that other chest while we're here. Again, easy is enough. Love the level ups. All right, now let's do some level three hacking. I mean, emeralds are nice and all, but I don't. Yeah, strong. Green bro for converting to money. Okay. I don't really need money, it seems like. I mean I guess I could spend money on um what are the things called? To get medals out of the lottery machine things. But All right, so I forget his name. There it is, our one and only Baku. From the look of it, the kid's program is merged with the wild Digimon, Baku slash Clockmon. And he's just speaking Digimon to me. It's no use trying to reason here. Programs erased whatever traces were left of the Digimon's own sentience. Digimon are easily susceptible to influence from man-made programs. One of the reasons, it's one of the reasons why some don't consider them to be autonomous beings with their own sense of will. There's no getting around this, you're just going to have to knock some sense into it. Alright. What type is he? Mm, he's a square and he's electric. Trying to think, Greymon or Kawagamon? I think Kawagamon's super strong against him. Let me just do one of these, and it'll should tell me. Yeah, it halves it. So he's asleep. Oh, dang it, Kawagamon will attack after this. Or is Kawagamon awake now? Is it a one turn stun? Yeah. That's funny. Alright. Kawagamon leveled up, Quillamon leveled up, Toyagamon, Seedramon, Gazimon. Alright, everyone gets some. 
Okay, now that that's over, download the data and collect what's left of Baku. Once you're done, get out of there and come back to the office. All right. It's hard to believe such a little kid would do a heinous crime like that. I'm still shocked. Heinous, huh? I guess I can see where you're coming from. Even if he didn't mean any harm by it, but he did certainly broke the law. That's all in the past now that we've exercised your account of that little stalker that haunted it. Case is now closed. We're holding on to the Baku program in the meantime. If we can tune it up a bit, it could very well come in handy. Just don't get it. Why did he go after me in the first place? Sigh. Neither of you really get why that boy picked on her. In a way, there really was no reason at all. Except to say that it was love at first sight. He really liked you, Minaka. Huh? First, he probably just wanted to get to know you more with all his heart. But as we saw, he was less mature than he liked to admit. He wanted to tease and mess with you so you'd pay attention to him. His age, it's a pretty standard mentality towards someone you really like. Whew, that's so fun. Let me holler out again if something else comes up, okay? I think it'd be pretty cool to be a detective cat Digimon like that. You're a cat? I guess. Definitely helped us back there, so you have my thanks, Pete. Anyway, you're still not able to actually leave the confines of Nakano's Broadway internet. Internet, But he made it to the Eden network. That's not on their intranet, is it? I think it has to do with how old the network protocols for the intranet are. It makes it hard to transfer data around. It could be I'm just stuck to the vacuum tube computer, like how Baku was to that Digimon. It's more to learn about what Pete truly is. Huh? Why do we call him? Why do we call Pete Pete? Well, he's a cat. He was extracted from his own little time capsule where he's frozen asleep all that time. Besides, open enough doors and you're bound to. Do you really need a reason for it? Like Digital World, the real world is filled to the brim with things that have no real reason. A simple pleasure in life that we're entitled to have as humans. Don't sweat it too much. Just kick back and enjoy it. Okay, she is the boss. All right, what's this? Farm. Okay, so training complete. Wait, give me that sweet memory up. Pretty important member of the team, so make sure you two get along. All right. I think it. We're out of beans. Pick some up. I use them all crafting a new recipe. All right, so I guess I'm supposed to go get coffee. And I've also, I also need to redo my team. What? Got a lot of nerve. Who Who exactly is giving you room for it? Oh, yeah. I guess she is, apparently. Right, so we'll just hop to Digilab. That's right, they were farming. Were they farming? I don't. I don't remember what they were doing. It's a rank two farm. I wonder. Where... Okay, no idea what that means. This is Digimon abilities. Pay development cost to create items. Like I still don't know what develop means. Enhances a digital. That's right, we did one of these. I don't know what that did. For the meantime, I guess just investigate. So I got room for five memory worth of Digimon. I guess let's take a uh, Gabumon. Actually, if I get rid of Gabumon and Toy Agumon.
I could bring like Ogre Mom or someone. Alright, so move. And then move Ogre Mom to replace Gazimon. Okay, so that's at 45 and that's full. Okay, so now I have Okay, so I have two champion. Wait, let me just look at Wait, so... so five champions and two rookies and they're kind of close to leveling up, or maxing their level. Um, so, no, I can't hack four. Okay, well, yeah, I don't see anything else we can do here, so let's leave. Now I'm supposed to go get coffee? I never would have thought a Digimon game could have so little to do with Digimon. Is this... I like that it's like fighting a tournament. Well, too bad. Coffee shop's not on the fourth floor, is it? Or is it? Uh, it's there. How did I miss it? Yeah. 80 yen for five medals. I want to see what this Agumon expert medal was. Okay. Five more beans already? I suppose more employees the supply is used up that much faster. Come to think of it, you head back, why don't you buy some takoyaki from the third floor to go with your coffee? Only a child does know more than what they're asked. Go above and beyond, and you'll seem quite clever. That's true. And a dramatic cutscene. Got the coffee beans. What new horror will she create from these incredible beans that smell so good? Okay, there's the um, ghoul. <gasps> That's a lot of silence. And then she left. There's a post on the wall you go staring at. Nationwide B-level gourmet battle. A restaurant becomes a culinary battleground. Grated yam ramen, tuna scrapes gyoza, famous massive frozen custard dim sum. Looks like this is what Yuko was looking at. Did I did I hear her mouth watering over? She, she did, her mouth was definitely watering. Nobody's mouth would watering this. Let's just go over that. Oh, and she's back at the office. Thanks for doing the shopping. I'm waiting for you to get back. You should see a client has arrived. Hello. <laughs> These are all very rude questions. <laughs> yeah, hello. Huh, mouth farting. What are you talking about? This is our client. Yuko Kamishiro. Hmm. Have we not already met? We should investigate my father. That's. Ooh, trophy. 
you Mr. Satoa Kamashiro, former president of Kamashiro Enterprises. He passed away last year. It was reported to have been a suicide crime. No, it isn't true. My father would never kill himself. Oh, I'm sorry for the outburst. No, there's nothing to apologize for. Why do you believe he wouldn't do it? Do you have some proof that he wasn't suicidal? I... No, I don't. That's exactly why I've come to you. I see. That makes sense. If you want clues, then you may want to start with Makoto Yamashina, whom I had to investigate the other day. He was a researcher for Kamishiro until last year. He left the company around the same time my father died, then he disappeared. So you believe Yamashina is connected to your father's death in some way? Yes. Even if there's no direct connection, I'm certain he must know something about my father's death. Hmm. So you had us investigate Makoto Yamashina as a prelude to this case. What's your way of testing us? Since you've brought another case to us, that implies that we passed your test. Apologize. There's so few people around me who can who I can trust. I I'm so very sorry for a little ruse. Heh. I hope such an honest answer is proof that we have earned your trust. <gasps> we shall investigate your father's death. Thank you, thank you very much. Please excuse me for a moment. Hello? Yes? No, no, there's no problem. Yes, yes, what? No, no, I'm alone. I understand. I'll be right back. Please wait at the head office, Miss Ray. Goodbye. Sorry, something came up all of a sudden. So it appears. Please leave the investigation to us. Thank you very much. Goodbye for now. Ta-ta for now. This could turn out to be a really big case. We've got to go all out and solve it. If all goes well, we could expose Kemishiro's past, along with the company's inner workings. Chef Matayoshi for his help. Can I Digimon? Alright, let's get started on the case. I'll go over the info on Mako Yamashina again. I'm doing that. I want you to go back out to his home and pay him another visit. I don't know if we'll get anything new, but well, Nivinji. NVNG, I guess. G. No, sorry, never mind. It's nothing important. NVNG, something my father used to say. Good. I'm glad she explained, because I didn't know what it meant. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. My father said something different, though. Something ventured, something gained. I always thought it should be abbreviated SVSG, but it's a rather elegant, refined expression, don't you think? Well, no need to think too deeply on it. It would be an elegant. Okay, enough with the chit chat. Get on the case for me. Alright, what are these messages? Tell me something you like. Yeah, I realize I don't. I know almost nothing about you. There's so many things I can't list them all. Let's learn lots about each other. Uh, thank you very much for your work on the case. Leave it to me. All right, now let's go. And I know it's a long shot, but before I go, can I do more arena? What is it called? Seal? Why is it down? <laughs> you can't have it down in multiple chapters. That just doesn't make sense. Alright, so now where the hell does this guy live? Okay, easy enough. Here's stubborn one. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't know any Kamishiro. I seem to have never heard of them. First I heard of them was from you. No, it was before that. On the news, I think. Wait, no. Maybe I heard it from my daughter. I don't know. Ask my daughter. Ask Chica. I need to lie down. I suddenly feel dizzy. Chica? Said she was going to Shibuya, I believe. A new single from a band was going to be available for a limited time at Shibuya Records. Jimmykin? No, that wasn't it. You really must excuse me. Let's go to Shibuya Records in Shibuya. Let's talk to Yamashina's daughter, Chika. Okay. 
I feel like he's either a very bad liar or, I don't know, some kind of possessed. Not possessed, but something with having his memory wiped clean. What's wrong with your hair? Oh, so you actually noticed me here. Good job. Victory Uchina. My dream is to become CEO. I feel like you have what it takes to make it big, too. I'll give you this to show my respect. What? Think you can find me again? I'll be waiting for you. To victory! What? I just wanted to talk to the person with the crazy hair. What is a ninja USB? Always successful escaping from battle. Well, that seems... Lame. It's this famous Shibuya Records. It's so huge. What do you sell here? Okay, so attributes. I'm not interested. I buy CDs right here. The girls who work here are super hot. Yeah, that person's in right now. Must have a nice voice. Gulan. Jimmy Kim is so totally rad. What if I got one of his CDs to put in my truck? Huh? You want to know if I'm Jimmy Kim? Waha, well, no way, Dumbo. Haha. I, I met Jimmy Kim though, and my battery died, so I'm gonna. And I realized I need to figure out. I either need to not have sound so you guys can have sound, or I need to find a way to get it to play it both. You say you have questions again? We just want to be left alone. Well, what is it now? What? About my dad? There's not really much to say. Hmm. Until recently, my dad was a workaholic. He didn't even come home on his days off. Yeah, there seems something wrong with it. But it seemed to change more recently. His focus shifted to taking care of his family. Not sure why exactly. Maybe something changed with his work. Before I know, he worked for a place called the Nile Corporation, but... Shouldn't you be on your way? I don't have much free time either. How'd it go? Any useful clues? Hmm, the Nile Corporation. I thought they'd be a connection there. Nile Corporation, our paths have crossed before. Matayoshi looked into the company once before. My father was involved in that investigation too. Following up on a hunch, apparently. Okay, you can look into that corporation for me. You might be able to get some info at the corporate pavilion near the Eden entrance. Look in the case files that my father and Detective Matayoshi put together back then. Alright, I'm counting on you. To the corporate pavilion near the Eden entrance. Alright, you're the boss game. You know, like, wait, is it daytime over there? It's night here. I went all over collecting data. Job today, Mom. Do we get tomorrow off? I don't know. Oh wait, so I need to find a computer access terminal thing. Can I get hit by cars? Or you just drive up and sit there. All right, that's not fun. Even though getting hits probably less fun, but I don't know. All right, so we got three people up here to chat to. Huh? Hurry it up! I'm busy, you know. Now, corporation. Hmm. Does sound kind of unfamiliar. Yeah, yes. I'm sure I've never heard of it. You know, whatever, who cares about that? More importantly, what do you think about Eden's avatar system? Are you really satisfied with it? You don't even care, do you? That face, of course you don't. Damn. What's wrong with my face? It'd be awfully nice if my kids could also work at a big company like Kamishiro. Now, a corporation? That's a company created to research the Eden avatar system, isn't it? I think they were bought out by some big company a long time ago, though. They aren't around anymore. Better head back to the office. 
All right, so now who has info for me? No one. I guess just head back to uh, Yuga. All right. Oh, okay, they're working. Well, hello there, young assistant. Are you getting used to working as a detective? What's with that look? Looking at me like I'm not supposed to be here. Kyo-chan can tell you why I'm here. Something strange has happened and we can't find the now corporation case files. So I thought I'd ask someone directly involved with the case itself. Of course you didn't find them. All the files are stored together at Kamishiro. Kamishiro? She didn't have to admit this, but we had to leave the files there. This was that hunch of yours, isn't it? Yes. At the time, suspicions were raised that Kamishiro had acquired the Nile Corporation illicitly. Father and I were investigating them when we ran into a little problem. Pressure came down from up top. We were forced to abandon the case. At the time, we were also forced to hand over all case files. So Kamashiro pulled the strings. It was a self creating move, wasn't it? That was the implied understanding. Since we knew how bad it was, we decided to keep silent track of where the case files were stored. You kept track even after your father passed away. Now the files are being stored deep within the Avalon server, which is the main Kamashiro server. I'm sure it's in the part of Cyrus that Kamashiro employees call confidential database. When I say I've kept track, it's not like I've confirmed the data's location firsthand. At best, it's conjecture based on info from scans of the environs. Call it my intuition. <laughs> Good enough for me. Well, then I say that it's about time we had them return what they've been keeping for us. Listen to me, Kyo-chan. This is Kamashiro we're dealing with. How are you planning to get around the top-notch security of a world-renowned company? Let's learn from the case of the robbing rooster. We don't force our way through a closed gate. Said we employ strategy and have them open it for us. Whoa, hey now, is that even possible? Good detective makes the impossible possible. What? We already have a roster of our own lined up. Someone who can crow in just the way we need. We get her to help us when it comes to infiltrating Kamashiro. Ah, speak of the devil. Begging your pardon? Once again, you have arrived right on time. This is my client, Yugo Kamashiro. Um, has there been any progress? Yuko Kamashiro, you don't mean the former presidents. I see, no one question her if she were to walk into corporate HQ. What I, who is this? Lady, we need your assistance, please. Huh? What? What? Huh? What? I see. What do you say? We really need your help with the investigation. That's fine, I want to know if my suspicions are correct as well. <laughs> but I'm a minor, as such my authority within the company is rather restricted. I doubt I'll be able to do much more than get you into the lobby. Let me think about this. If I were inviting friends from school to take a tour, it shouldn't be an issue getting you into the lobby, I think. It would be hard passing me and Q chain off as your friends. Worst case, they might recognize us too. <laughs> so long as you could get my assistant in, that would be terrific. Could you manage that? But then how do we get to the confidential database? There's some means of doing that? Even if your assistant were a world-class hacker, I doubt it's even possible. Cyber Sleuth can make the impossible possible. There we have it, Yuko. Leave the domain of cyber sleuthing to us. Very well. I'll go and get things set up. What are you actually going to do, Kyo-chan? To get in? I have an idea, actually. Oh. There's this one case where I got my hands on a little program. I think of having it customized for my assistant, with the help of someone I know. Shall we get started with the preparations? My dear assistant, start by handing to Myri Mikagura's place. I let you know you're coming, and you can get the details from her. Alright, so two messages. Anything important? 
can trust a dreadful test to you. Return at once if things get dangerous. No need to worry. It's nice to have someone who will say that. Thanks, get to bed early yourself. All right. Well, I've been going for about an hour in my time, so, and we made it to a new chapter. So that's exciting. Um, we're picking this off next week, and hopefully we can make a little bit more progress. Place, actually do some Digimon battling and stuff. But if you like this video, there's a video on the right side of your screen. It's the last video I uploaded. There's a video on the left side of your screen, which is a video that YouTube thinks you'll like. Or you can click my icon in the middle, subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.